Now that Bottle Grotto is completed and that you've stolen both the shovel and the bow, let's attack Villa Skip. A bit similar to the like-like launch, the goal will be to end up on top of the tree line in order to grab the slime key. But this time, instead of a cocoa, we'll use one of the pincer near the village. The general idea is pretty simple. Freeze the pincer, throw it against the trees, jump slash, freeze it again, and walk to the tree line. The main issue is mainly that the Y position of the pincer is relatively precise. The setup I'm showing here is definitely not the only valid one, but it's the one I've had the most success with. Now let's dive deeper into each step. In order to freeze the pincer, I'm stopping over this rock in the road. This way I can freeze both pincers in one powder use. This way the second one won't be a problem during this setup. Note that the powder does not freeze them permanently, so you might have to hurry a tad. Once both pincers are frozen, take the upper one and place yourself under the tile from which he gets out. The X position is not horribly precise. The most important thing to note is the pincer's body. Ideally, it'd be as tense as possible. If that's not the case for you, you move horizontally too much with it in your hand before throwing it. You can correct the situation by walking against the trees for a little while. The next section is pretty quick. Once the position is satisfying, throw the pincer and jump slash immediately. Mid jump slash, tap up on your joystick so you distance yourself from the trees. Once on the ground, go upright. Once you see that the pincer is about to move, change direction to down left and powder him again. If everything went well, the pincer should be in position for you to reach the trees. Fall in the pincer's hole from the south. If you don't respawn on top of it, you might have been too far left or right, or the pincer's body wasn't straight enough. Once on top of him, head to his head. You have to be on the highest point of his body in order to make the jump. A simple way to tell if that's the case is to walk straight down. If Link doesn't move left or right, you are at the right spot. You can then jump holding down and land on the trees. If you didn't make it, the pincer moved too much before freezing him from the second powder use. If you fail any part of this trick, you can simply save and reload the same save. No need to save prior to attempting the trick. The last small note that I leave you on would be for the very next jump. You can use Link's feet and the second leaf line as visual cues. Once Link's foot is right about the leaf line, jump. This should guarantee making it. 